What's up subscribers and subscribers to be? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're ready for the video, go ahead and hit that like button. While you guys go ahead and hit that like button, I wanna go ahead and spark up my blunt. All right, now that we got that out of the way, for today's video, I want to be talking to you guys about precious metals, um, particularly gold and silver. The main reason that I'm making this video today is because gold and silver right now and most other precious metals are for the most part hitting their record highs right now. Gold has peaked above $2,000 as of the making of this video. Gold is currently at $2,070 and silver is currently right under $29 is at 2892. I already did a video about when and where to purchase precious metals. If you haven't already seen that video, um, look for the link in the um, description of someone on the video. And also you can just go back to my old videos and you'll find it. Even though I have those videos that are going in depth, I will still touch on those subjects in this video. Um, but like I said, this is going to be kind of quick and brief, so it won't be that detailed. If you've been holding silver um, or gold or any of the precious metals, you probably already know that for the most part, over the past few years, the value has been suppressed. But with the recent, um, but with the recent printing of more money and the inflation that is expected, a lot of investors are now looking to gold, silver, and other precious metals as a way to store their wealth or as a way to diversify their portfolio um, while all this stuff is currently going on. As I just said, um, silver and gold are currently at their peak. For that reason, I personally, I'm not really buying too much of it, but I still am buying some. I personally believe that you should buy precious metals, at least um, to some extent. It should always take up a small portion of your portfolio. But a lot of people are now asking me, should they jump into the gold and metal markets? Uh, being that they're starting to rise. My answer to that is kind of a yes and kind of a no. And what I mean by that is if, you, um, if you're purchasing any type of asset, it's best to buy low and sell high if you plan on selling. So with gold and silver and other precious metals kind of being at their highest point, I really don't um, advise too many people to um, purchase more. Um, the time to purchase was actually over the past year and the few years before. If I'm not mistaken, about four years ago, gold was at about $1,000 to $1,200. And I know um, late last year and earlier this year, it was at about $1,300 to about $1,500. So for the most part, in my eyes, the opportunity to buy um, gold in bulk has, for the most part, passed. But um, like I said, I'm always buying. If you don't have any gold or precious metals at all, I do still think that you should jump in, um, even though the market is kind of high. This is, like I said, something that should always be in your portfolio. And even if you jump in at a peak of 2000 or even if this goes up to whatever the peak ends up being, if you purchase at the peak and it starts to go down, as long as you know that you're buying an asset that's good over time, if the price goes down, I would suggest just buying more and kind of think of it as you getting it at a discount moving forward. So if you're new to the market, go ahead and buy some. If the price goes down, buy some more and if the price continues to go up just take your profit in kind of be um be wary of buying more right now and just wait for that price to go down so that you can buy more or whenever you see that the price is at a discount um relatively to its peak you can go ahead and buy more so all in all once again the best time to buy these precious metals in my opinion was in the past. Right now, um, platinum is still kind of low due to um, its industrial uses kind of being at a record low right now. So I am buying platinum a little bit right now, but for the rest of these, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really not buying too much of the precious metals. But like I said, if you haven't already started, go ahead and jump in and do that now. The second question that a lot of people are asking me now is um, where should they go and buy metals? Should they go to a jewelry store and buy them a chain? Should they go and buy bullion, which is just basically pure gold um, that's been processed by some government agency or some company? 
or should they buy some type of um, stock of a gold mining company or some type of ETF that's composed of these companies? Um, in my opinion, if you don't want to have the gold or silver or whatever precious metal on you, um, the ETFs can be a good avenue for you. But I don't like the fact that you don't have it on hand. Um, if you look at the gold ETF market and if you look at gold stocks, you'll notice sometimes that their stock price um, doesn't match the actual value of the precious metal that you're investing in. And um, in my eyes, I kind of view that as money that's some kind of way going to something else. And also, if you look at ETFs, you'll notice that the money that's invested into silver and gold doesn't match the amount that most um, agencies actually have in reserve, meaning that if everybody was to try to cash out their value at the same time, everybody wouldn't be able to get their money or wouldn't be able to get their value in gold. So that's not really something that I'm personally a fan of. If you're looking to buy, if you're looking to buy jewelry, just keep in mind that a lot of the um, the price isn't actually going towards the value of the metal. A lot of that price is going towards the jeweler and the person who made that chain. So I personally like to buy bullion or coins, which is basically pure, um, pure gold, pure silver, or whatever metal that I'm choosing to buy. You can buy these metals at local um, coin shops, bullion shops, um, which is probably where you'll get the best price for it. They normally sell at around spot price, which is the current trading value of precious metals. Um, you can also purchase online, places like eBay, where you can purchase from, um, from you know, just people who have it. I personally like to purchase from um, larger companies who are known for doing it. Um, JM Bullion, SD Bullion, AppMix, and companies like that. Um, they have a really great track record, and I've never had a problem with them. The only thing about purchasing online from those type of companies is a lot of times they will also charge you a small premium in order for you to purchase, or they might charge a small shipping fee, um, which is to be expected because that company itself has to make some money. But I just, um, that's the method that I kind of prefer. That's what I usually recommend for people because I just like to personally feel my assets, something tangible in my hand. But um, like I said, I don't want to keep rambling or make this video super long. In my eyes, hopefully you guys are already into the whole precious metal market. If you're not, go ahead and jump in if you can. And um, if the price go up, so be it. If the price drops a little bit from the peak that we're seeing right now, you kind of have a set price that you know that people are willing to pay. And if it goes down from there, you know you're kind of getting at a discount for the moment. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video with that. All in all, you guys know for the most part, even though I do invest in precious metals and things like that, um, my number one avenue of, of investing my wealth is stocks. If you're looking to do the same thing, go ahead and look in the description. You'll see a, um, a link for the Robinhood app. If you're interested in using that platform, um, if you use the link in the description, we'll both get a free stock once you sign up. Um, outside of that, I also have a stock market membership group. You can access that group by going to www.everythingmites.com. That's www.everythingmites.com and clicking on the stock market membership group page. Um, the page is locked in order to gain access. You do have to pay a $20 fee. Um, you can send that $20 fee to me via Cash App. My Cash App ID is dollar sign M A N S A E N T. That's dollar sign Mansa E N T. If you want to join that group, Go ahead and send your twenty dollars. Make sure you include an email address in the memo. Once I receive your membership fee, I'll go ahead and um, email you um, a link that grants you access to that stock market membership page. And on that page, you'll see the top stocks that I'm buying, um, the stocks that I'm buying recently, the top stocks that I'm looking for for a particular year, for a particular month, and as well as a blog that I have with other members of the group where we discuss different different topics, such as the topic of this video today. Um, with that being said, I would definitely want you guys to check that out. Um, thank you for your time. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Make sure you hit that like button and thank you for subscribing. I'm at the bag, go get the money. Count that cat and back to the money, put that on repeat. Go get the bag, go get the bag, and now we coming. If you really bought your money, put a dollar in the app. If you really bought your hustle, put a dollar in the app. You ain't taking else for nothing, put a dollar in the app. You ain't got no hustle muscle, get the fuck up out of hell.